Once again, Barcelona faces a humiliating loss in the UEFA Champions League, and it's not just Bayern. It's against any other top tier team they play, whether it's Atletico or Real Madrid in La Liga or any other team in UEFA like Bayern, Juve or PSG. So, what's happening? Or in other words, what's not happening? Because the problem with Barcelona is that nothing is happening. Yes, Barcelona's problems started from the poor decisions of the previous board and they have a very bad financial situation that cannot be solved right away. But, there are a lot of solutions that are in hand now. First of all, the manager. Although Ronald Koeman is a good manager, he is not suited to Barcelona. Barcelona is the type of team that always keeps possession of the ball, play these quick short passes and always press high in the pitch. The players in La Masia Barca's academy, for anyone who doesn't know, are trained for that style of play from the minute they set foot into the academy. So, when he tries to defend and stay deep, even against a strong team like Bayern, is not a good idea, because Barca's defenders are not suited to that. So, probably they will not be good at that, and most of their players, especially the defenders, are from La Masia. The whole five players in the back, for example, are from La Masia. The other thing about staying deep is that you have to always be effective in counter-attacks, especially if the opponents are pressing very hard and Bayern were actually pressing very hard. Because if you are not effective in counter-attacks, your opponents will press as hard as you wish, because they are not worried of someone catching their pressing on the counter-attacks. Barca played with a 5-3-2 that turned into a 3-5-2 and they build up play from the back while Bayern tightly pressed with their 4-2-3-1. Lewandowski, Sani and Musiala pressing the three center backs, Piquet, Eric Garcia and Araujo. Muller pressing Busquets, Goreska and Kimmich pressing De Jong and Pedri, while the full backs pressed Barca's wing backs Sergio Roberto and Alba. So, what Barca needed is a fast player up front to go wide into the wings and cause problems for Bayern's full backs that are pressing Barca's wing backs and outnumber them. Even in one-on-one -on -one situations, a pacey forward or a winger is always better than a wing back. Of course, that was not Coleman's mistake, all these kind of players were injured. And Swayte was injured, Brightweight was injured, although anyway is not of the highest quality. And Dembley is still getting his fitness back after his injury before playing for two weeks and getting a new injury. So yes, that's not Coleman's mistake based on his style of play. But that was mainly the board's mistake in appointing the wrong type of manager as still keeping him. And not appointing managers with similar style to Barcelona that attacks, presses and keeps possession of the ball like Guardiola. Of course Guardiola is out of reach right now, but alternative options would have been Xavi or Eric Ten Hag or even Arteta who although he's having bad results with Arsenal, would find more success with Barca's style that's more suited to him than Arsenal. The other problem is keeping Sergi Busquets and Piquet. As Sergi Busquets is getting older, his defending and covering gets poorer. And as Barca's possession of the ball keeps getting less against a team like Bayern, it was 48% for example, opponents get more time to take advantage of Busquets' poor defending. In the first two goals for example, where was he? He is supposed to be the defensive midfielders always protecting the back line. Even the box-to-box -box midfielders were getting back more than him. On the other hand, Piquet is a little bit of a complicated situation. Although his weaknesses weren't exploited in that game, but they were a real problem for Barca. He is slow and makes a lot of mistakes. But why is his situation complicated? It's because Barca still needs him. Because he is the leader of the defense, he organizes them, and they need a very big sum of money to buy another world class center back with a leadership character like him, which isn't there. So, that problem is hard to solve right now. But for Busquets, there's Frankie de Jong, who could play as a defensive midfielder, although he has proven himself as a box-to-box -box midfielder as well. So, in my opinion, in my own opinion, the main solution is appointing a manager who is suited to Barcelona like Xavi, for example, and there's still many good options, especially in the midfield, that are suited to Barca's style of play, like Frankie de Jong, Pedri, Ricky Puig, Ronald Koeman just never plays Ricky Puig and he needs a chance. I think they could play in a 4-3-3 formation with them being the three midfielders replicating what Busquets, Xavi and Iniesta did 10 years ago. 
although they could be too much attack in my opinion, but so was the Xavi and Iniesta and with the Xavi or Arteta as the manager they would be able to recreate that killer midfielder trio. The fullbacks for me could be Dest and Alba, they are extremely good at attacking, which is needed by a team like Barcelona. The center backs are a difficult choice, but I would go for uh, Eric Garcia and Araujo, as Eric Garcia is somehow similar to PK, and Araujo would be useful because of his pace that is needed when you're playing with a high defensive line that Barcelona usually uses. The front three I would go for Hans Fati and Depay in the wings, and Aguero as a striker. After all, of them return from injury, of course. I only go with Dembele because of his style of play. It's somehow not suiting the team or style that Barca uses. But against Bayern, it could have been Depay, Luc de Jong, and Coutinho. And Depay could have tried using the wings more instead of going deep as well as Coutinho. The only problem that Luc de Jong was not the best option, but there were no other options anyway. But anyway, using the wings would have been more useful to Barcelona in facing Bayern even if it was the than himself. Also, another thing that is needed is to rotate Alba, even if that means playing Sergio Roberto on the left or Destro or even on Titi. Because Alba is still extremely important for the team, but he's getting older and can't play every game. So yeah, although for Barcelona to fully recover they still need a couple of years, but they still have solutions currently in their hands that they could have used. And they still have world class players in their squad that with the right manager, he could use in the right way.